Hey guys, and welcome to my how to make your microphone sound better tutorial. So the main program we're going to be using is Audacity. Audacity is a free program. It is phenomenal. The technology used in it is unmatched. There is not a better audio paid or sorry, an audio editor paid or, or free that is better than this. Every Let's Player, gamer, YouTuber, everyone uses Audacity who loves it. Um, so basically, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to remove background noise, bring your voice up that little bit and then compress it all into a smaller sort of bring your highs up or sorry, bring your highs down and your lows up. So we're going to start by recording a bit of test footage with some blank noise at the start. And I'll show you that why in one second. Hey guys, and welcome to my Audacity test tutorial. So I really hope that this video helps and enjoy. Okay, so we've recorded our test footage. Now, what I always recommend you do is record about between like five and 10 or even more seconds of just blank noise. Just your microphone in your room recording. Okay, the reason for that is you want it to record your background noise. So you can go into the effects, noise reduction this is going to be your best friend you get in the noise profile of the blank noise so you select the blank noise you get no noise profile that's your background noise profile then you control a select the entire audio track go back to effect noise reduction and then you do step two so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hire it up to maybe 15. you can mess around with this it's different for everyone's voice my microphone is a blue yeti the gain is set down to zero because it is about three inches away from my face covered with a windshield and on a boomstick to avoid uh, key vibrations and mouse clicking that's on the desk. Because if you hammer down on your keyboard and your microphone's on your desk, it's going to pick up all of them. F microphones like, like condenser mics like the Blue Yeti will always do that. So I kept it right up to my face. So we're going to reduce the audio. There we go. So the audio has been reduced. As you can see, there's no nothing here on the recording level. There's no audio background noise being recorded. And then as it gets in, hey guys, and welcome to my Audacity test tutorial. No background noise at all. So that's perfect. So that's one thing. Now, what we want to do is they're very quiet because I have the gain down and I have the mic volume about 70 on true windows. You can always highlight it up to 80, 90, 100 even if you want. I just have it 70. I think that works perfectly. So what I do is then you do is you normalize it. So I'm going to do that to minus one. You can do it to minus one or two, but minus one to the default. So why not? And that'll bring everything up. Now, as you can see, it's a bit distorted. There's a bit of jump here and there. So what you want to do is you want to even everything out. You want to bring it all down. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a compressor. That brings the highs down and the lows up and keeps everything just at that even level. So if you do a lot of shouting or a lot of kind of jumpy things, you do not want that popping up in people's ears. It can hurt like a motherfucker. So compressor, as you see, everything's brought down to one quite equal level. Very crystal clear sound and audio. So as you can see there. Hey guys, and welcome to my Audacity nice test out. tutorial. So I really hope that this video helps and enjoy. So it is nice and loud. The quality is crystal clear. You can always mess around with other things. There's the likes of bass and treble. So, uh, you know, I used to put maybe a decibel of bass onto my voice. I don't really need it anymore, but it's always an option. It makes it feel more full. And one other thing I, do not, I don't mess with, but it is definitely recommended is your equalizer. So... See, the thing is with Equalizer, it's set to a lot of people's voices. So you kind of have to know your voice through the Equalizer. So there's some recommended settings, like a lot of dragging and dropping and making a kind of a bar graph chart and then out of your voice. And then it'll make your voice sound more full and volumetric and kind of fill your ears a little bit better. But I've personally used it and it's never worked for me, but that's just me. It definitely does work for people and people do love it. Another thing that I don't use but I do recommend is hard limiter or leveler. What this will do is this will cut off all, any audio below a certain noise threshold. So you set the noise threshold here and then you do the degree of how much you level it. I keep it at moderate if I ever use it. I don't because I don't do a lot of shouting or jumpy kind of voices. So I just keep it at a very calm level. So I don't need the hard limiter. Well, leveler it's called now. It used to be called a hard limiter. And then that's basically it. So if this helped any of you guys, please um, like and subscribe. And if it didn't, please let me know why. But for other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys.